So Ben Davis to Liverpool, myself being a Preston fan, it's a bit of a funny one at the moment really, you know. Usually when you're losing your club's best player, you're absolutely gutted. And don't get me wrong, I'm definitely feeling a little bit of that at the moment. But to be honest with you, I can't help but feel absolutely buzzing for Ben that he's going to be getting this opportunity now to really take his game to the next level, you know. He's someone who has been at the club since he was a kid. Preston fans have very much seen him grow from a boy to a man and for him to be now getting this opportunity to really level up his career. It's a real feeling of pride, I feel like, at the moment amongst most Preston fans. So, in terms of Ben Davis to play, he came up through the Preston Academy actually as a left back. That was the position where he played in most of his early career. There were quite a few sort of loan spells that were sprinkled in throughout his early career. But really, what was the making of him and probably the major turning point of his career was his loan move to Fleetwood in 2017. So, he got the opportunity there to play at the left side of a back three. And I think that that's when the penny really dropped that this was the position for him moving forward. He came back to Preston the season after. Alex Neal was then the manager who I also think has had a real instrumental role in developing Ben Davis's game. And from that point onwards, we really realised what sort of a player we actually had on our hands here. So in terms of his key strengths, I think that previously being a fullback has actually served him quite well. So really good amount of recovery pace about him. Um, under no sort of illusions that he's going to be playing in a much different Liverpool side, you know. Going to be playing a lot further up the pitch in a higher line, but he does have that recovery pace to fall back on. There's been quite a few sort of Twitter compilations that I've seen floating around lately, and there was one clip especially a couple seasons ago, we were playing Leeds at Deepdale. Patrick Bamford must have like a 5-10 metre head start on him. He's racing through on goal. Ben Davis covers that ground, makes that recovery tackle, and the danger is sniffed out. So those are the sort of things that you look into and think... Okay, he's got quite a bit to his game and he's ready to really step up to Premier League level. Another one of his major assets is actually how well he reads the game. He's not the most physical of defenders, but in terms of the positions that he puts himself into, he's rarely exposed. I think that that's shown by the fact that throughout his career, he's never been sent off. So he doesn't put himself into those uncomfortable situations. He's very much ahead of the game in terms of reading things moving forward and Probably the biggest thing and why you're buying Ben Davis is his ability on the ball is absolutely fantastic. For me, I'd say the best ball playing centre half in the championship. And when you actually look into the Premier League, it's a position where, I mean, there's it's a real rarity at the moment. You know, left-sided English centre halves. You know, Tara Mings is maybe the only one that springs to mind in the Premier League at the moment. But Ben Davis has that. So his calmness on the ball, he's always looking for that forward pass and has the ability to really pull them off so the amount of times that we'll have seen him for example be on that left hand side get his head up look to the right wing and switch to play get that ball in behind that's something that I think that Liverpool fans should actually be quite excited about you know with the way that your wingers sort of like to play Ben Davis is finding that sort of run he he do it countless times for us in the championship so really good amount of vision on him he carries the ball really well into midfield he's not someone who when he's being closed down he's going to press the panic button and put it in row Z that's not him at at all. And that's another reason why I think that most Preston fans have thought that Ben Davis is ready for the Premier League for quite a few years now. He has that calmness on the ball, he's always reassuring and whenever he's on it you're never worried let's just put it that way so in terms of his only real I suppose weakness to his game is maybe he's lacking a little bit of height and physicality so he's not going to come into this Liverpool side and be in that sort of like I don't know Van Dijk destroyer sort of model where he's going to dominate things physically and aerially put him alongside the right partner and Ben Davis will absolutely thrive so at Preston we'd always partner him alongside you know Patrick Bauer or Paul Huntington both of them in that sort of six foot fold quite big stocky mould I think if you were to compare him to you know someone in the Premier League at the moment it would someone like a John Stone stands out in terms of how he actually plays his game so I, I honestly think that Liverpool have got an absolute steal here because for around two million pounds as well you know make no mistakes about this had his contract not been running out at the end of the season, this is easily a sort of 10 to 15 million pound player we're talking about here. And there has been quite a bit of interest in Davis in the past from quite a lot of other Premier League clubs. So Wolves, Everton, most recently Sheffield United and Celtic in Scotland have all been interested in Davis. And I think that I'm with most Preston fans that I've been surprised that it's taken this long for him to get that move. But I also think that when it does come to Liverpool's recruitment, they're not only looking into sort of 
the player on the pitch that Ben Davis is, but off it as well, and his sort of personality. I think that that really plays into his favour as well. So he's captained Preston in the past at such a young age, so he's really got those sort of leadership abilities about him, and he's someone who Alex Neal, our manager, has always been able to sort of fall on and put that trust upon within the squad. And then the other thing about Ben is his availability over the past four or so years has been really good, so no major injuries in there to touch on, really. He's had a couple of minor hamstrings string tweaks here and there but apart from that he'd regularly make over 35 appearances consistently season after season for us in the championship he's now racked up 250 appearances throughout his career so far so he is someone that you can put your faith in to be available and to be fit obviously quite a big thing with Liverpool at the moment with the, your centre halves at this point in time and overall I just really hope it works out for him I'm absolutely buzzing that he's going to be getting this opportunity now and obviously now from a Preston fan's perspective I'm going to be keeping quite a keen eye on Liverpool and Ben Davis in the future so yeah really hope it works out for him and I honestly think you, that you've uncovered a bit of a hidden gem here in the championship so wish him all the best for the rest of the season and like I say I think you've got a really good player on your hands here so thanks for having me on the channel guys that's what i make of ben davis thank you so much for watching the redmen tv youtube channel everything we do here is funded by our wonderful subscribers to the redmentv.com get over there sign up and get amazing additional content interviews documentaries mini series and of course additional pre and post match day content